this is now home to roost and that's why the market has gone down. Honestly, just the last two weeks have really um, kind of set the stage. As you can see in front of you, you're looking at a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We are down on the year right now, folks. So for all the hoopla, the news pundits and the talking heads have been talking about on the surprise of the market. The least important index, I'll give it that, is down on the year. Bidenomics doesn't seem to be working so well. However, we are currently finally reaching the, the storm that was anticipated by almost most people on Wall Street this year. And the things that defied the experts, including myself, was just the preponderance and the debt the American consumer was planning to take on over the course of 2023. As we've known, and I've pointed out, debt rates on credit cards and everywhere else to continue America's desire to purchase have skyrocketed. Over the last literally nine months of the year, that there's nine months that we've gone through, the US has put on over four hundred billion dollars of extra debt. Sorry, make that six hundred billion dollars. I got the number wrong backwards. Six hundred billion dollars of debt. And that debt has gone everywhere to pay for the items that we like to buy on Amazon or at Walmart or food we buy at the grocery stores or even all the way down to car payments. That money has been borrowed unsecured from credit cards and it has bought everything it could. And that has helped keep company earnings higher and people employed. However, it is coming home to roost. We have, a, we do kind of have a perfect storm against the markets right now. We see it. We see a UAW strike. We saw a screen, Ill, um, um, screen actors gilder, guild, the writers go on strike. However, that finally has dissipated today. Yay for more content on Netflix. Um, but we also have had high interest rates all year, uh, rising consumer debt. We have a possible shutdown of Congress on Friday. Uh, we, as you can see, uh, the country between the strikes, shutting down of the government, um, everybody yelling at each other, both sides of the aisle. This is now home to roost. And that's why the market has gone down. So the Dow being up at one time, um, all the way up here at 35.50, we were up 15%. We are now down on the year as of yesterday. The NASDAQ remains strong. However, as you can see, this is weakening too. Um, probably likely to extend itself for another thousand points to the downside um, over the end of the year. Um, a bad September. September, we all note, is one of the worst months historically. It is proving so this month. Uh, there's only two days to get out of it. And we'll see what happens on Thursday and Friday. Uh, my opinion, it doesn't really look too good. Um, finally, we have the S&P. This is the main index that matters. This one is really broke down. We are up on the year, but now instead of being up 20% where we were here, defied all expectations of everybody, we are now up just under 10%. So we've given back half of the year's rally um, literally today. This, by the way, here, just for reference, is a 200-day moving average. That's very significant in the land of the S&P.